Hello everyone. Today I want to share with you all um, three, three, um, I guess you could say concepts. So, say, say, finish, and free. So first, I want to share with the deaf community. Um, so I'm going to turn off my voice, okay? And I'm going to try to remember this time, for those of you that um, don't know sign language or you're learning ASL and you're learning how to communicate with the deaf community so you won't be, you know, at a loss, okay? Um, but anyway, I want to first share with the deaf community. I'm going to turn my voice back on. So these three concepts, say, saved, and then free. Okay? So many times interpreters may use free when it needs to be say. Okay? We're talking about free. We're talking about something that it doesn't cost money. So if I ask you, hey, um, I want to go to the concert tonight. Do you know how much costs how much? Oh, no. It's free, okay? But if you're talking about someone and maybe they're struggling, you know, with drugs, with alcohol, with anger, with lust, whatever the problem, okay? And you said, Jesus, didn't he touch me? He touched me. Now I'm free? No. Drug free? No. Me, you want to use, I'm saved. Okay? 
So there's a couple of things. One, say finished, meaning that you've accepted Jesus. He lives with you. He's with you every day. You're talking to him. You wake up in the morning, you know, and you know that Jesus is right there with you, okay? But also, excuse me, also, if you're struggling with something, that means, you know, now, thank you, Lord, that drug, I'm now free. So you want to use the concept of he has saved you from that, not free. And again, I learned that some time ago that that's what the deaf community will understand more if you use this concept as opposed to um, this concept of free to really understand what it means. And you can ask a deaf person at your church now, if the person, uh, if that deaf person or hard of hearing person or deaf blind person has been in the, has experienced church for a long time, they may, maybe they'll understand the concept of being free as in drug free, okay? But don't just assume that you're a deaf member or a deaf friend or a deaf person that you meet um, understands when you say, you know, the drugs are gone, you're now free, free. Did it cost something? Okay, so just remember um, to use this for when we're talking about being free from something like drugs or alcohol or, you know, you just, you just get drunk all the time. You know, you just drink things every day. You wake up in the morning and God touched you and now Okay, so if you have any questions, you may feel different, but when I, I learned that, that's true ASL, because you want to make sure that that deaf person is understanding everything. Um, I remember one time a deaf a person visiting my church, um, that was some time ago when I lived in Michigan, and they saw someone, oh, I, it was me, I was up signing, and I signed, victory victory, whatever the song was, I can't remember now. Um, and I remember, I remember looking at them and they were standing there and they asked, it was another deaf person that was standing next to him. And they asked him, they said, victory, what does that mean? And so the other person spelled out, excuse me, so V-I-C-T-O-R-Y. But I could see on their, by their expression, they were still puzzled. So after church, I was driving her home and I asked her, <coughs> excuse me, and I said, I noticed that you didn't understand the meaning of victory. And she's like, no. And so I began to explain. So you understand, this is something, this is a word that we use all the time in church. I've got the victory, you know, or what have you. So don't assume, and but yet, but understand, it has nothing to do, excuse me, nothing about the deaf person's being, uh, oh, they're not very smart, no. It's just their first language is ASL, and we use so many different terms in the church, okay? Sometimes some of us hearing maybe don't even understand, okay? Uh, so I just want to explain that if you have any questions, comment, uh, uh, excuse me, any questions for me, uh, be sure to put them in the comments below. Okay, this has been another lesson for you all and I hope that you all enjoy, continue to enjoy and support my videos. Um, this has been signing with Val and remember deaf people can do anything that hearing people can do except here. Bye for now.